I came back and wrestled and broadcast. Remember the famous Saturday Night Live main event? Yeah, yeah. Where I broadcast and got in the ring, and then I That's challenged right. all other announcers in any other sport. I'm the only announcer in any sport. You don't see a football announcer going out and playing football. Right. Da 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 da. Right. So I, but the, I quit wrestling on my own. I started making as much or more money because it was two separate deals I had with Vince. And I started making more money broadcasting than taking bumps. And I already told you I didn't like bumps anyway. Right. So I thought, who needs to do this wrestling? I can mouth off now all I want and I don't have to get in the ring. So I just switched completely to announcing at that point. How did you gel with Vince immediately? Did you chem Was the chemistry there right off the bat? Well, I didn't renounce with him immediately. I started with Gorilla. With Gorilla? Okay. Yeah, and then I got moved up to the A-team. At that time, it was Vince and Bruno on the A-team, and it was me and Gorilla, the B-team. And then, of course, when Saturday Night Main Event came, that solidified me completely because then I became the premier announcer and the face and voice of wrestling. You and Vince's chemistry together was just awesome from back in the day. Well, I'd do it again right now if you put the decimal point in the right place. All right. There you go. That's all it takes. All right. It's money talks. Put, put the decimal point where it belongs. I'll be back tomorrow. You spent a lot of time with Vince. What surprised you most about Vince? I'll put it this way, Vince is the P.T. Barnum of our generation. Me. A workaholic and very innovative and, and he's willing to gamble. He did with the XFL. You know, Vince isn't afraid to roll the dice. Right. And I think that's what gives him the edge. Did you uh, set some media chemistry with Grill Monsoon? Oh, yeah. I had chemistry with everyone I broadcast with. Tony Schiavone. Gorilla Monsoon, Vince McMahon, it didn't matter. I did an interview with Bruno Sammartino, and he said he felt like he was pushed out as an announcer. Do you agree? Yeah, and I begged Vince to keep him. I begged Vince, don't lose Bruno. He's my foil. Bruno's perfect. I wanted Bruno to stay. All right. Because I loved Bruno. Bruno was so... Bruno's so honest and in a way naive on the mic. He was phenomenal. Because I remember one time he says, pushing rest, Bruno goes, well, I'm going to go to WrestleMania. I can't wait to go there, da, da, da. And I said, how are you getting there, Bruno the Hound? <laughs> and he goes, what's the Hound? I said, the Greyhound bus. And Bruno goes, bus, train, plane, I don't care. I'm going to be there. He was so wooden. Right, right. That off of me, it was perfect. And when Vince was getting rid of him, I begged Vince, don't lose Bruno. I love Bruno. Bruno's the guy. He's my foil. Right, right. You know? But, you know, again, it was so... I, I can honestly tell you, I did not cause Bruno to leave. I wanted Bruno to stay. What are some of your uh, early memories with uh, Grill and Vince that really stick out? Some of your favorite moments doing announcing with them? Oh, well, I, uh, I loved when Uncle Elmer got married because uh, Vince came up to me before the broadcast and simply said, bury him. Which you did. I said... Bury him, bury him. Okay. I remember your line today. Uh, it looks like two uh, carp in the Mississippi River going after the same piece of corn or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Bill Murray sent a, a message to me, the great Bill Murray, from right. Santa, said the greatest live line he'd ever heard. That was awesome. He said he was down on the floor. And I thought, geez, to get Bill Murray, that's a good compliment. <laughs> you know. Well, How about when the wife got hit with the pint bottle? Bemmer come flying down, struck her in the head. Right, right. And when I went, there it is, McMahon, a sign from above. This marriage shouldn't take place. It was awful. <laughs> I could watch those shows over and over again. <laughs> TitleMatchNetwork.com